Tonight, United replaced by Liberty in local fuel markets, what this will mean for drivers. Teenage environmentalist Greta Thunberg addresses a rally in London. School returns for term two across the country. A comedian known for playing the Ukrainian president wins in a landslide election victory. And Hawthorne West Primary School Year 6 students received their 2019 jackets and t-shirts. This is HMV Local News with Leonardo Puglisi. Good evening, we begin with local business news now. And Liberty has replaced United in all local fuel markets in the Hawthorne District. Known examples of this include Bridge Road, Richmond and Church Street, Hawthorne. The move happened last Friday for Hawthorne and surprised many locals. United is one of three major brands in Australia, the other being BP and Shell. Speaking of Shell, the large Liberty sign actually says Shell Cards Accepted. Does this mean Liberty is a part of Shell? Or do they have a contract agreement? Liberty, of course, is a very small fuel station, so they are not an independent. Hawthorne West 5-6 students recently looked at Greta Thunberg, the Swedish 16-year-old environmentalist who's tackling climate change across the globe. She told an Extinction Rebellion rally at London's Marble Arc, quote, we will never stop fighting for this planet, for ourselves, our futures, and for the futures of our children and grandchildren. HWPS students returned to school on Tuesday, but there were some minor controversies that many were not happy about. This includes a popular tree that provides lots of shade and has for many years been chopped down. It is unclear why it was chopped down. Some speculate safety reasons. The other noticeable change was two cubbies in the sustainable garden have been demolished. A TV president becomes the real deal in Ukraine. That's still to come in HMV local news. Also, why the word Anzac is actually trademarked. And year sixes at Hawthorne West Primary School receive their jackets and polo t-shirts. Across the Hawthorne District and its surrounding areas, you're watching HMV, your local station. Australia's federal election won't happen until May 18th, but overseas, a comedian known for playing the Ukrainian president on television has won the top job in what has only been described as a landslide victory. Vladimir Zelensky won the landslide victory with at least 70% of the vote, according to official results. He says despite his lack of experience, he will provide for Ukraine. Back home now, and believe it or not, the word Anzac is actually trademarked by the Department of Veteran Affairs, DVA. Their official website states the word Anzac cannot be used in connection with any vehicles, businesses and more. For the biscuit... Anzac biscuits or Anzac slice is allowed. However, examples such as Anzac bickies is not allowed. For serious breaches of this act, 12 months in jail or penalties up to $10,200 for individuals or $51,000 for body corporates may apply. Japan's Mizuzu Akida has become the first woman elected to the local assembly. Taramizu City's 61-year history had not had a female candidate until now. Akida hugged supporters when she finished third out of 17 candidates in the 14-seat assembly. This follows a record number of female politicians being elected across Japan. And we do apologise for any mispronunciations in that story. On Wednesday, Year 6 students at Hawthorne West Primary School were happy when they received their Year 6 jackets and polo t-shirts. The polo t-shirts were an optional item, however the Year 6 jackets have been a tradition for a while now. The design on the back 
which we can only partly show you is a new design, unlike the shield design that has been used in previous years. Now, your parents might have gotten the following phone call. Just listen to this. And all you'll have to do is use the buttons on your phone. If the upcoming federal election were held today, which candidate and political party would receive your vote? Press 1 for Yana Stewart and the Labor Party. Press 2 for Josh Frydenberg and the Liberal Party. Press 3 for Julian Burnside and the Greens. Press 4 for Oliver Yates and Independent. Press 5 for any other party or candidate. Or press 6 if you are undecided. Now, it's still unclear who actually made the phone calls. Of course, it is an automated voice. Some speculate it might be the AEC, Australian Electoral Commission. Coming up next in sport, we show you the results of the 666 rule survey. Come down to the Canberra Oil Market every Sunday for great buys and cheap products, antiques and collectibles every Sunday in Camberwell. Welcome back in sport now. We would like to show you the results of the 666 survey we put out last week. Now, we would like to say we really appreciate all of you commenting on this rule by the AFL. It was wonderful to see within hours many, many comments in the description below. We could see most of you were supporting the 666 rule. However, some of you added that it could slow the game down. But many generally put they liked the 666 rule. There were no overly negative comments towards it. Coming up next, your local weather forecast, and we recap our top stories. Women in Base, an HMV News special presentation. Coming soon to HMV. Across the Hawthorne district and its surrounding areas, you're watching HMV, your local station. Welcome back. Let's take a look at your three-day forecast for Hawthorne, Campbell and Q now. Finally, let's recap our top stories here on HMV Local News. And United has been replaced by Liberty in all local fuel markets in the district. A comedian wins the Ukrainian election. Fourth West Primary School Year 6 students receive their jackets and polo t-shirts. And Japan's Taramizu City elects its first female politician. And that is HMB Local News for this Sunday evening. Thank you very much for tuning in. On behalf of the team, though, I'm Leonardo Puglisi. Good night.